This also has a ton of technology inside. So check this out. I'm gonna turn the plane around and get it heading closer to us and show you guys how easy this plane is to fly versus that little one. It's easy to fly, but this one is so easy. I literally don't have to touch anything. My sticks are both in the middle and it just keeps going. That's how easy it is to fly in beginner mode. Watch, when I'm turning, I'm just pulling right and holding it there. And when I want to go straight again, I let go of the stick and the airplane just goes straight. It levels the wing oh, out for you and everything. My goodness. As I told you, this is my plane that Nate's flying for you guys right now. It's, it's mine. It's so easy to fly. <laughs> and because that's why I love it. Abby's plane, I haven't flown it for a while. <laughs> but uh, it flies so easily. People ask us all the time on the channel, probably once a minute on average, Nate, what is the best beginner plane I can buy to get in the air? I love those jets that you fly, but I want to learn first and I do my best to answer them, but I can't get to all the comments at once. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about two of the best possible beginner planes that money can buy. And let's face it, with Christmas and the holidays coming up right around the corner, we are gonna have a lot of new people getting into the hobby. And my job here on YouTube is to make sure that you guys don't buy crap that's gonna deter you from the hobby. If you're a first time buyer, this video is perfect for you. Maybe you got a Christmas list that you're making. This video is perfect for you. Maybe you're buying it for yourself or you know a friend or your dad or your brother or a family member that's gonna get into the hobby. Do them a big favor and share this video with them so that they don't end up with some crap that they hate that they throw away after their first flight. Now to all my pro pilots that are watching, every one of you guys watching, help steer me straight. Don't let anybody in the comments go wrong here, but I wanna know what's your favorite budget radio that you fly on, your favorite transmitter that's not expensive. It's your cheap radio, it works, it gets the job done. I'm wearing mine on my shirt, my Tactic. I've been flying them for like six or seven years. They're my favorite budget radio. I wanna hear from you guys, my pro. I mean, if you've ever flown a single airplane, what's the best budget radio? So today we're taking a look at these Aeroscouts, and if you have never been in the hobby before, you would just think, well, one's big and one's small. Yes, good job. But there are some major, major differences, and we're gonna point those out in this video. I'm gonna fly both of them for you and talk about both of them and let you know which one is the best one for your money. Let's talk about price first. The little one is $100. It's actually right under $100. It's $99.99. And the big one is right around double the price. The reason for that is some of the technology that's built into it and the power. It's not just the size. So if you're on a budget and you wanna get a good quality airplane from a good quality business and, and company, then the Mini Aero Scout is the way to go for price because you get everything you need in the box. You get the transmitter, the radio, the thing that controls it, the airplane, the battery, the charger, and all of it. The funny thing is you get all of that with this big guy too for just double the price. By the end of this video, you're gonna have learned one thing and that's if you can afford the bigger Aero Scout, you should buy the bigger Aero Scout, the big guy, because you get 10 times the amount of quality and performance for only double the price. I sound like a horrible salesman right now, but it's the truth. This is uh, my favorite plane. This helped me get back into flying. I love this plane. I've seen so many people fly this plane for the first time and get in the hobby and actually love it, but I do understand that not everybody can afford this plane. That's why we're gonna talk about and fly this one in today's video too. So the great thing is both of these airplanes, they come ready to fly. You don't need to buy anything else. There's some upgrades that you can get for them. And if you wanna know what those upgrades are, they're linked in the description box below. But everything that I show you in today's video is 100% what comes with these nothing extra unless you buy this one and bind and fly there's a there's <laughs> we'll talk about that but for our beginner pilots ready to fly means you get everything you need now the main thing to remember yes there are some slightly better airplanes than this one for the price there really are on the market I'll be the first to tell you that and I'm gonna fly these and show you why and everything but this has a very good both of these sold by the same company customer support in America very few companies have that anymore. You're gonna pay a little bit more for that, but for first time flyers, if you crash these and you are lucky enough to break it because these things don't break, if you can break one of these, you are very unlucky, I think. But if you do, they have parts for both of these and they have American-based customer service. It's a pretty big deal. 
Let's just fly these, then we'll keep talking about both of them while they're in the air. Nate's gonna start with a hand launch for you guys, but he'll also do a ground takeoff. It goes up so easily. Now, you noticed I launched with my hand. This airplane is small enough that you can do that safely. And if you don't wanna fly with those landing gear or the wheels on there, you can take those off. Like if you know you're gonna land in grass, you could take those off and only do hand launches and land in the grass all the time. Um, so this airplane doesn't need a lot of space to fly either. A lot of people think to fly an airplane, you need like huge, huge fields or an RC airport to, to fly at, or a field, a club. Uh, you don't, not for this one. This is extremely lightweight. This is the little one, you guys, yep. if you couldn't tell, because they do a lot of This is the $100 little one, and you can fly it in like a soccer field, or a baseball field, or your front yard, or your backyard. You don't even need that whole baseball field of space. Now, some of the downsides to this one, it's not as powerful. So, you really can't fly this in much wind at all. If you get it on a very calm day, or no wind, you're gonna have a much better time with it. So, as a first time flyer, you might forget to tell the person you're buying it for, for Christmas or whatever, that, hey, don't fly this in any wind, and if they take this out in wind, they might lose it or wreck it or crash it. Now, the good news is, check this out. We can just throttle down, and I'm pushing down as hard as it'll go. I just slammed into the asphalt. My wheels fell off, because they are supposed to, but that is still one solid airplane, and, oh, I tried to do a takeoff. <laughs> Belly takeoff. <laughs> Put the wheels back on and do a regular takeoff from the ground. Just pop off, pop back on. That, like, for pavement, I thought it might have more scratches on it, but that looked pretty good. No, this thing is tough as nails. And then you can do ground takeoffs, too, if you have, like, a parking lot you can fly at. The best thing about both of these airplanes, the Aero Scouts, the little one and the big one that I just showed you today, is the prop is mounted in the back of the wing. So we can hit things. We can, and you know, we don't want to, but we can smack into stuff and trees and everything. And that propeller and the motor, which are the most important and usually the most delicate things on airplanes, they are not going to get nearly as damaged as if you had a an airplane with the motor on the front, like a normal looking airplane. So these are both extremely durable. That was me literally pushing as hard as I could to get it to come down as fast as I could to slam into the ground. So literally, you'd have to try really, really, really hard to break this thing. If I had a tree here, I'd hit it for you just to show you <laughs> that this thing is tough as nails. Remember, the best thing about this airplane is the price. Probably the worst thing about it is how powerful it is. It's just not very powerful but for a hundred dollars to have customer support in the states and stuff and just spare part availability extra batteries extra charges all that stuff is very easy to get two-day shipping on most most places sometimes sometimes three-day shipping wherever you are in the states um, that's really exceptional we just don't see that that often I'm trying to think about this airplane if i'm missing anything for you pro pilots and by pro again i mean people that have flown at least one airplane this is three channels which means there are no flaps or control surfaces on the main wing the big airplane has four channels and i'll talk about that when i get this on the ground and show you guys the difference and what that means for you as a beginner pilot but this thing flies extremely well and for a tiny cheap little battery you can get a nice like 12 to 15 minute flight out of it. So we're gonna land this airplane. You can do stunts, but about a loop, a loop is about the only thing you can do and it's kind of hard to pull off. So this, you know, it has a little bit of room for growth, but not much. You can see you can practice some nice smooth landings and it even has a steerable wheel on the back so you can actually steer this on the ground, which is not the case for most budget airplanes. Most of them do not have a steerable wheel. I don't know a whole lot of people that would intentionally crash their personal airplanes just to show you how tough they are. I love that Aero Scout. I just had to show you it's extremely tough. What I'm going to show you before I fly the bigger airplane, the regular size Aero Scout, are the batteries. These are two batteries and they both go to the airplanes that I brought with me today, the mini and the bigger. Can you guess which one goes to which airplane? <laughs> <laughs> this is the mini Aero Scout. This is called a one cell battery. It doesn't even need to be balanced or anything because it's one cell. It's a single bit of voltage, which is 3.7 volts. Don't really need to know that. This is a three cell battery, which means it's three times as powerful. The voltage is three times higher, 11.1 .1 volts. 
and the milliamp of this battery is quite a bit bigger too. So the fuel tank size is 800 milliamps on the little guy. The fuel tank size on this battery is 2200 milliamps. The really cool thing about the Mini is the batteries are very cheap. The cool thing about the bigger airplane is they are actually quite affordable, about 30 or so dollars per battery. You should always buy a couple more of each one of these because it comes with one, but you always need like two or three batteries. So we'll link the batteries in the description box below. And if you know the person in your life is gonna love this hobby and you're getting them the bigger one, for the bigger batteries, there's a better charger you can buy that charges way faster, charges safely, and helps you keep track of your battery's health overall. So if you know they're gonna be in the hobby for a long time, there's a really cool charger that we'll link down there for the bigger Aeroscout plane. Now let's go get the bigger plane and fly it and really show you guys what this hobby's all about. We're getting ready for takeoff, which means we need the bigger, better radio. This is to the Mini Aero Scout, and it does a fine job, but if you compare the two, this looks like a toy, doesn't it? This is a really hobby-grade radio, and the cool thing about this, it's kind of a secret that not a lot of people might tell you, is this radio that comes with the bigger airplane, you can take this radio and use it on more airplanes in the future. So if you buy more airplanes, you can buy just the airplane on your second and third purchase and, and more after that, and you don't have to buy the radio. You can use this one and pair it up to your new airplane. So every time you do that, you're gonna save like 40 or $50 every single time. And this radio comes with that airplane. There are other radios you can buy that are better. With model memories. And that means you don't have, uh, that gets a little bit more confusing. <laughs> But just know that this one will get the job done and a lot of people that get into the hobby do exactly that. So if you're curious about what we mean with model memories and better technology, watch our channel. We've got a lot of stuff out there and ask us in the comments. Most of the time we will eventually get to you and if we don't, we have amazing subscribers. They're all probably gonna be very helpful in the comment section on this video. So ask the questions and someone will help you out. But, now we can fly. So the biggest difference in this airplane and the small one, other than the size, is because it's bigger, I really can't hand launch it, or at least I don't want to. With the help of someone else, I could. And then you see these things that are moving on the wing, those flaps, those moving control surfaces, they're called ailerons. The little airplane doesn't have that. But it flies the same. You still use your right stick to fly it. You can use your left stick for the rudder control, which is in the back but you fly it exactly the same as the little guy. So maybe you buy somebody both and they practice with the small one and then they get the big one in the air. There's some other differences we'll talk about while this is flying, but you can just hear how much more powerful this is, even on the ground. So let's go like this. Way more powerful way faster and you're going to notice that this airplane doesn't do any of that up and down like looks like it's weak kind of stuff that was me doing that this airplane is just going to cut through the air cut through some wind way way better than the little airplane one of the biggest differences too that if you were new to the hobby you would not know this is the little one has a brushed motor and this one the one i'm flying now has a brushless motor this motor is going to run smoother, more powerful, more quiet, even though it's a more powerful, if, uh, generally speaking in the same size, the brushless motors are, are more quiet, and it's gonna last way longer. So you might get hundreds of flights out of your brushed motor, where you should get thousands of flights out of your brushless motor, which is really cool. Brushless motors are not that much more expensive. Uh, but they just outperform brushed big time. This also has a ton of technology inside. So check this out. I'm gonna turn the plane around and get it heading closer to us and show you guys how easy this plane is to fly versus that little one. It's easy to fly, but this one is so easy. I literally don't have to touch anything. My sticks are both in the middle and it just keeps going. That's how easy it is to fly in beginner mode. Watch, when I'm turning, I'm just pulling right and holding it there. And when I want to go straight again, I let go of the stick and the airplane just goes straight. It levels the wow. wing out for you and everything. My goodness. As I told you, this is my plane that Nate's flying for you guys right now. It's, it's mine. so <laughs> easy to fly. And that that's why I love it. Abby's plane, I haven't flown it for a while, <laughs> but uh, it flies so easily. But the even better thing about this plane is there's progression. Yeah, so it doesn't just have that super easy flight mode where if I don't touch anything, it just flies level. Check this out. If I take it out of that beginner flight mode, we can do things like this. 
we're doing some loops, we can do rolls very easily. We can turn this plane completely upside down and fly it like a stunt plane. As much as we want, we can do outside loops. Abby, can we do snap rolls? I've never tried it. Let's try a snap don't, roll. Don't break my did plane. Break it? Oh, we did it. We did a little baby <laughs> snap roll. We can dive bomb, get in really fast and low to the ground. We can do these things called knife edges where the airplane flies on its side and use the rudder to keep it in the air. This airplane for a beginner airplane is absolutely amazing. It's so good that we've let some of our beginner well, they're kind of advanced drone pilots. We yeah. have a race drone pilot friend borrow this and crash it. He snapped the wheel clean off of this airplane and with about five cents worth of hot glue. Yeah, you wouldn't know. You I guys would have never known it. that. I didn't tell you that right now. You never know it. I, I got it fixed and it's just as strong as always. And that's the best part about this hobby. A lot of people think that if you crash these foam airplanes, oh, it's just money wasted. Nope. You just get your mom's or your grandma's or maybe yours. I have one, I'm not afraid to admit it. Hot glue gun out and you can patch it back up with about five, 10 cents worth of hot glue. Can we do another snap roll? That was a slow one, but we did it. <laughs> so this plane has three flight modes and obviously I'm in the most advanced flight mode. But what's really cool is no matter what flight mode you're in, Let's say you're trying a new stunt in advanced mode like I'm doing here, and I get this airplane upside down and I panic, I can throw this switch and it saves the airplane <laughs> for me. I'm gonna do I that. did not do a very good job. I didn't you know did. you were gonna show the transmitter. No, no, we'll do it one more time. We'll <laughs> Was not prepared. Here. I'm gonna go advanced mode. I'm practicing a new stunt I've never done before. I go upside down and I'm confused, so I throw that switch and it just saved the airplane for me. Now all I have to do is turn it back to get it to come back. Once I do that, I just let this little guy cruise right back into us. I'm not touching anything. When I'm ready to land, I just pull my throttle down. It's gonna slow down and I just kind of circle it in and line it up for my landing. I'm not going to land this time because of the sun. And I just let it come in nice and, well I did, I just bounced <laughs> it off the runway. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. And that, that shows you how tough this airplane is. guys. I'm real. I get so excited about this hobby and I really get excited when I know there are new people that want to join the hobby because for all of us that are in the hobby and we have 10 or 20 airplanes, we want more people in the hobby because the more people we have, the better stuff gets invented, the cooler airplanes we all get to enjoy. So we should all be encouraging new people to come into the hobby. But the funny thing is, it doesn't always work out that way. Just know that our channel is and always has been both wholesome and, and family friendly. And we encourage the beginner to come here and learn things and find the best things, the best airplanes, the best products that are going to give them the best chance of success for their money so they can advance in the hobby to and jets. It, and and if you appreciate that we do that, whoops, give us better a like. film, give us like, a like the video. Yeah, there's not enough people, in my opinion, that do this and that's why we started our channel because they're just, there's so many people that like to get out in front of the camera and brag about how good they are and they forget about the beginner. We've always been here for eight years, here for the beginner. Very Let's give nice. him one more good landing. Oh my goodness, look at that Will sunset. you touch down in front of us? Yeah, I will, that way it's better yeah. than the camera. Mm -hmm. So this airplane, guys, and the Mini are both extremely tough. They're both good airplanes for beginners. Some of the best choices currently on the market. The, and know this, if either one of these, when you use our link to buy it, is on back order. If it says back order, do yourself and us a favor and just place yourself on order. If it's on back order, that means it's a popular airplane and they're sold out, but they will have more in stock. And if you put yourself on the back order list, very nice. Thank you. They will send one to you when they get in stock. And guess what? If their list is longer than what they have available, then 
they just send them out as they get them in and they do that sometimes with good products and actually when we do an airplane or a truck on our channel and it goes to back order it just happens a lot because a lot of people watch our videos and so sometimes these things happen right after our videos get released look you can see our landing gear it's bowing out just a little bit because of some of the beginners that have borrowed this airplane and crunched down really hard and we just bend it right back into shape <laughs> If one of the things keeping you from buying the bigger plane over the little one is the size, just know that you see these three little dots on the main wing? Those are thumb screws. You don't even need a screwdriver to use those. You just unscrew with your fingers three screws and the wing comes off. It's just held in with like a little lock and lever system and then those three screws hold that in place. So if you have a really small car, you can take the main wing off for storage, you can take the main wing off and it actually is in two pieces. But that fit in my Honda Civic. This one in one piece, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the main wing, actually, I keep the box of this airplane as my travel case because everything fits back in the box so easily. So this one, it comes apart too. Airplanes, they look big, but when you take the wing apart, it really doesn't take up any more space than like a small yard tool or something. So don't let size of airplanes keep you from getting into the hobby. Remember the main goal of this video is to help steer people in the right direction. So if you're one of our regular subscribers and you're watching this video just because you support what we do, share it with friends and family. Get it out there because we don't want people buying crap for Christmas this year. We want people to have good stuff. That's not saying these are the only two good planes you can buy, but if you had to watch one video for our planes for your holiday shopping guide this year this video definitely gets that job done we'll have more videos for the beginner in mind as we get closer to Christmas but this video in a nutshell gets that job done this is the video that you share with people that you care about so please do that it helps our channel and it helps the hobby they're both amazing options I like this but I love this if you have $100 and that's all you have, we all understand this will get the job done. There's some small modifications you can do to this plane to make it fly better. Take a nickel or a quarter and tape it on the inside or the outside of the front of this airplane and it'll fly significantly better. I know it's hard to believe, but a simple little fix like that makes it fly better. Now this is a thing, this is a message to um, Horizon Hobby, the company that makes these. Hey guys. What everybody wants to see is a UMX version of this. We want a brushless motor, ailerons, and safe mode on this that can bind up to our radios. But that's, this, we get it, we get it. You had to hit $100, but that's what everybody wants. Please make it. Now, that's not a message to our beginners. The big message to our beginners is if you can afford it. <laughs> that's how tough it is, I just tossed it. Uh, if you can afford it, this is the one to buy. For just a little more than double the price, I swear to you, you get 10 times the performance and this will let you know if you like the hobby or not. If you get this airplane and you struggle with it or you just don't find enjoyment in it, then you probably won't enjoy the rest of the hobby, but my money is on, you will enjoy it and this will not be your last airplane. That's what we want for the hobby. That's what we want for everybody. My goal in life is to share positive experiences and that's what this video is all about find something fun that's healthy and productive and hurts nobody else and ride that just as long as you can because that's what life is all about is having fun. So all the stuff we talked about in today's video will be linked in the description box below. If you use those links, they help support our channel, but in no way, shape or form would I ever steer you in the wrong direction. If you don't believe me, just ask. I'll share about 100, 500 videos with you of just total crap. You'll waste your time, but you'll help us because you'll give us views. But if you, if you don't believe me, every other video we put out there seems like something is just bad. However, these are amazing and they'll get you up and running and, and I just give them two giant thumbs up. So everything is linked in the description box below. For today and all the good that I have in my life, I thank God. And I also want to say a huge thanks to all of our Patreon supporters. Because of you guys, we're able to get out in front of the camera as often as we do and help steer people in the right direction. My favor that I'd like to ask everybody is just to share this video with people 
that you know are gonna want an RC plane for Christmas time. This video needs to be shared so we don't let people buy the junk out there. Now, this is Abby's plane and it's one of her favorites. And if you don't believe me, we'll have a video of her flying it popping up right about now. Definitely worth watching, especially if you're gonna get this plane for yourself. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.